I mean, looks just like Doki Doki. Look at her with the knife. Hey, it's me, Yub, by the way. Uh, the comment section, that's you, has brought this game, Cooking Companions, to my attention because we love Doki Doki on this channel. Doki Doki ain't no jokey. That's what I've been saying for years. We've been waiting for a follow-up, and fellas, I think we might just have it. It's just a staircase. Look how creepy this is. Oh, I can't wait to play this. It's like 40 minutes long is what I've been told, so grab you the little popcorns. Cookie companions, your life just might end. Hey! Let's start it up. You've already sold me with the music. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Interesting warning on such a cute game. Very Doki Doki style. Hey! Okay, so she's my favorite. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cookie! Cookie! All right, so they definitely brought the bops along. Also, there's Harry Potter. She wants to speak to the manager. I can tell. Girl, I'll be the manager. You can speak to me. I hate to say it. But you really outdid yourself with that stew. The seasoning was superb. I tasted dill and something else. Did you grow the herbs yourself? Yeah, I grew the weed in my backyard. Mariah here, the short one. All right, Natsuki. You'll have to share your recipe with me. Gregor. Okay, little guy next door type, little German look. I could really go for fourths. Is anyone still hungry? Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. Is this a pet? Is this a Pokemon? You could hold cooking classes here. You'd be extremely successful if you forage for local produce. Thanks, nerd. Uh, was anyone listening earlier? I'll have the rest if nobody else is hungry. Just eat it, Gregor. It's fine. Thanks for cooking again. And sorry, dishes aren't my thing. Oh, girl, assert that female empowerment. Repeat after me. If you're a strong female, you don't need permission. Lady Gaga. The four seem stuffed as they clear out the kitchen. You look at the pile of dishes and your mind starts to wander. Hello. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Get this chair out of here. It's messing up my vibe, man. I'm messing up my vibe, man. Let's play hide and seek. That sounds much better than doing dish. Do I need to, do I really need to set up like for real? Hold on. E. That sounds much better than doing dishes. There's five of us to find. Can you find all of us? The red-haired woman should know where the basement key is. And I bet one of us is hiding down there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Why would they say that? Probably best to avoid the knife. I mean, produce would know that. Produce usually gets sliced. Makes sense. As the leader of the Chompettes, it's critical we all escape at the same time. So please don't forget any of us. Good luck. Wait, I'm helping them escape all of a sudden. Cabbage rolls away and tries. They don't want to get sliced. They are trying to. They're trying to escape. Okay, maybe now is a good time to speak with the red haired woman. Check out the. Okay, well, I'm swimming in options here. So I guess I'm going to check out the living room. Also, guys, dust. Seriously, it's not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's go talk to Karen. Girl. She's just, why would she hold it? That's not safe. Don't get bloody. Cut towards your buddy. Everyone knows that. Looks like she's just slicing away at a block of wood. Cabbage was correct. That knife looks sharp. Wow. Oh, hey. Can I help you? I say, girl, what you willing with that knife? Or I could say, have you seen the basement key? I'm going to, I'm going to like do some small talk so she doesn't suspect. What are you willing with that knife? I wouldn't. You're making a knife with a knife. Do you want one? Have, oh, read my mind. You can whittle me. Anything you want. Take your time. Oh, see, it made her happy. Look at her. She likes it. Okay, Karen. This game's awesome. I like this game. <laughs> You're pretty charming, huh? I can whittle enough weapons for an armory if you let me. You notice Karen's starting to blush a little. You're certain Karen will remember that. Um, it'd be a waste of your talents. I don't want her to actually make me weapons, right? That'd be a waste of your talents. Oh, freak. She doesn't like that. Wouldn't be this talented without you. Is that what she said? I clicked too fast. Thank you for the cooking lessons. Let's cook something together. Can you grab some? And look who ended up with the key anyway. That's what we call finesse. Ow. The basement key should be somewhere in the kitchen. At least I think that's where you put it. La Wait, I had it? Special art book? You think, Karen, and head to the kitchen. 
Yeah, girl, Karen can get it. Thankfully, there's not too many places for a cabbage to hide. Where do you want to check first? Wait, I'm looking for the cabbage all of a sudden? Oh, he, well, we knew that he hid, but I thought I was supposed to be looking for the key. I'm going to say the cupboards. No, the cauldron. You hit, Actually, that'd be a really stupid place to hide. You hear some rustling around. Ah! Ah, 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 ah. ah you found me! <laughs> well done! As leader of the Chumpets, you don't need to convince me. I'm coming with you. Yes! <laughs> Four Chumpets to go. What's next? I don't want to play hide-and-seek anymore. Do you know where the basement key is? <laughs> of course! Right in that nasty oven. I'll keep the key in the oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. Was he trying to push me in? Oh, you found the basement key. I thought th I thought the cabbage was going to kill me for a second. There it is. Cabbage? Aren't you... <laughs> <laughs> it just said cabbage? Aren't you going to wash your hands, though? Cabbage almost guilts you into washing your hands. Almost. Guy, it's the coronavirus season. Go ahead and wash the hands. That's disgusting. Let's focus on the mission ahead. Finding the chump pets. Cabbage. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Guys, if you hear noise coming out of the bedroom, just go somewhere else. Maybe that's a good place. What? Hold on. This is more than there was before. I didn't do it this much. Maybe like that? Maybe that's a good place to search first. I promise the voice wasn't that high before. What, probably? <laughs> Great, I'll meet you there. Woo! Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Will she lead you to another chompette? Okay, it's a girl cabbage. That's my bet. Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did someone leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Huh. Seems to be broken. Maybe you'll pick a signal up when looking around the cabin. Better hold on to this radio. Yeah! Time to see what cabbage found in the bedroom. Let's go. Let, let's check out the bedroom, guys. I can't... Can't wait. Ooh, those transitions. There's something right there. I saw it. Oh, I, <clears throat> sorry. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I thought you'd still be fitting off that glutton Gregor right now. <laughs> I found a book under one of the beds. Do you know what the cover says? What, you can't read? You have like the biggest glasses I've ever seen. You can't read it. Can't you read? I mean, shoot. Uh, don't tell the others, but no. Now I feel awful. He actually can't read. That's on me, Anatoly. That one's on me. My bad, dude. Life lesson, guys. If someone's wearing glasses, don't assume they can read. Don't tell the others, but no. I only pretend to know what my herbalist books say. You tell him the name of the book. Cabin cooking? Terrible title. A little or Terrible title. Alliteration is so childish. So you can't read, but you know what alliteration is. I'm lost. I'm lost on Anatoly's character. Speaking of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe I could forage a special ingredient for you. You tell him. Interesting. I think that'll pair nicely with wild yarrow. Yarrow? I'll go look around the cabin. <laughs> Talk to you later. Get the freak out of here, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do stuff for Karen right now. I want to, I'm trying to be her manager. Time to find the onion. Onions are smaller than a cabbage, so this might be more. What about the, ma the mouse hole back here? Where do you want to check first? Okay, floorboard, I can see. That looks like a bone, right? Inside the nightstand, inside the bird. Okay, I can see there's nothing in there. Let's do under the, the floorboard for sure. Let's see. You notice a bone stick. That's what I thought it was. Is it a human bone? No, oh, no, chicken bone. It's still one that someone hid in the floor. Look under the floorboard again. The floorboard looks a little loose. You could probably try to pull it up to see under it. You're far too weak to pull up that... Ah, how'd they know? I'm gonna do it again. This floorboard should really be repaired. You wonder if you could repair it yourself. How many more... You definitely can't repair this yourself, but no one's around for my... Keep clicking and I need to know. You look a little closer at the hole. Yes! <laughs> Somebody's foot out there is probably cold right now. Click it again. I need to see. The small sock is worthless. Why did you even pick it up? Okay, I was like, I cannot believe how much dialogue there is for this one floorboard. Under the bed. You look under both of the beds. Just some dust and hair. You conclude someone must have slept in these beds at some... Yeah, whose room is it? Probably start there. You decide to inspect one of the hairs under the bed. The, this game is weird. I feel weird. It's long and red. You conclude it's Karen's hair. Hmm. Okay, Karen. You inspect another piece of hair. It appears to be black. Anatoly? Okay, so they share a room? I got a small box in the corner. 
That must have been my imagination. There's nothing but hair and dust down here. Better luck next. Why did you give me hope? I'm so confused. Inside the nightstand. That's definitely. He is here. Don't be a crybaby. It's just me. <laughs> onion. No matter what I look like. I assure you I'm sweet. Onion. Honest. Did uh, you sprint here? You're drenched in sweat. Could smell you coming a mile away. You think I'm going to let an onion talk to me about being stinky? You make people cry with how bad you smell. <laughs> Gross. I don't have a nose. But if I did, I'd probably lose my lunch. When's the last time you had a bath, stinky? Don't answer that. Just join me in the boiling water sometime. <laughs> really loosens the meat off those old bones. Got a fun factoid for you. You know what's good for a sore throat? Me! I did! Just chop me up and mix me with... with I'm not giving you the answer here. I'm buzzing with excitement. <laughs> it's honey. That's correct! The sulfuric compounds help soothe your throat and the honey just tastes great. Of course, I'll come with you. Yes! Onion! Glad to have you join us, Onion. No problem. There's nothing else to do today. He's telling the truth. Oh. He's telling the truth. I heard bread making noise in the living room. Bro, we got bread? Say psych right now. Bread makes you fat, though. You know how loud bread can get. Bread! The one and only. Chop pets! Let's move out! This game's amazing. Your party is quickly expanding. Three chompettes left. There goes that radio again. Looks like the strange radio picked up a signal. This place haunted, bro. Get out. No matter how pretty Karen is, we need to go. I'm not sure what the purpose of this broadcast is. Yeah, what's she saying? Shrek? Shrek, you were hoping the strange radio would play upbeat music or something. Oh, well. No use focusing on this right now. Let's explore the living room. Huh. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for you. I already licked some of the bowls clean, so <laughs> no need to wash them. Don't wink at me after that. Don't lick the bowls either. Wouldn't want to waste any, right? Okay. You, you, I'm a growing guy. Were you like 28? You're done growing, Greg. Thanks for cooking dinner for us today. Gave all of us time to work on our hobbies. Karen with her whittling. Anatoly with his herbaliz herbalism. Mariah with her studies. And me? <laughs> I'm just here for the food. This is cooking school, so good job. You should uh, double the recipe next time, <laughs> just so none of us go hungry later. Terrible idea. Anyways, gonna check out those beds. Sleeping on the couch has been killing my back. Maybe it's also all the food. Later. You unlocked the Gregor. Oh, I can't wait to go see that. The couch looks like a good bed to you. Hmm, bread. Where do you want to check first for bread? Inside the mouse hole. I've been waiting for that. Wow, it was way too quick. I didn't get to find any of the secrets. Found me. Everyone's secretly favorite trumpet, bread. It's not even a secret, bread. I love you. I love you the way you are. Don't you loaf me? <laughs> My cousin Cornbread taught me to one. That one. He has hundreds. No fouls is a terrible punch. <laughs> He's my role model. <laughs> so, what do you need? Stop, bread. You're going to kill these people with laughter. You tell Brett about gathering the chompettes together. That's a pretty crummy idea. Remember what happened last time? With potato? I mean, you're going against the whole grain. Stop! You really want to help us out? Hmm. First of all, you sounded just like a Plants vs. Zombies zombie and i just want to say that i know he has a different voice but they're so cute i just want them all to have this voice i'll come with you if you pass my culinary quiz you've always been good at cooking stuff so this should be a piece of cake no eyeballing measurements today you're being exact no dashes shakes or just a touch is here wouldn't want to ruin this recipe right this is a math quiz That sucks. Here we go. One fourth of a teaspoon is 1.25 milliliters. I... My eyes have already glazed over. 
My special bread recipe calls for two teaspoons of salt. How many milliliters would that be? Hold on, what did he even say? I don't do math. Really? No disrespect, but you'll need to do math sooner or later. You think I'm gonna let cartoon bread convince me? Shut up! He's right. He's, he is right. Like, wow. Can't believe your hubris. Cabbage? Onion? Can you back me up on this? As leader of the Chompets, I must tell you, I've heard them say some really dumb things before. But this takes the cake. <laughs> Holy cow, was that dumb. Onion, get in here and weigh in on this. Yeah, you're being ridiculous right now. Beyond ridiculous. The answer was 10. 10 milliliters. You do know how to count to 10, right? I stop my feeling. This bread is really mean. <laughs> Just hold out both your hands and count each finger. Get it? You just counted the ten. I'm not gonna even break down the math problem to explain. That'd be too complicated for you. This food is so mean. You're more embarrassing than potato. Don't talk crap about potato. I'll join the group, but only because I'm worried about you. Don't make Bread regret this. Bread has reluctantly joined the group, but it feels pretty hollow. Jump it! Let's go find Raspberry. Maybe keep your mouth shut this time. Don't embarrass us in front of Raspberry. Mosey up! So these guys really are worried about what Raspberry thinks. <clears throat> you have three chomp pets in your party. Two more to go. Here's the radio. It's like devil voice this time though. Pretty annoying. Do these numbers mean anything? I can, it's a different language. Probably not. Oh well. Maybe someone knows how to repair this thing. You head to the basement door. So I got that special sock. Oh. Oh, hey, Natsuki. Uh, Mariah. Oh, didn't see you creeping up behind me. Why is a deadbolt on this door? That's some high security for a cellar full of beets and potatoes. <laughs> or maybe it's hiding something else. <laughs> like a deep dark secret? <laughs> I don't care what Karen says. You're funny. See you around. That's all? That's all she came here to tell us? I got that Mar Mariah profile picture, though, bro. I'm gonna check that out, Mariah. I'm gonna holler at you later, okay? Raspberry! She's here! The birds outside turn silent. You could hear a pin drop. You can almost hear her breathing. What is happening? You feel the sudden urge to scream. You can't sneak up on me. Don't ever try that again. Raspberry. What is going on with Raspberry? Hold on. Oh, wow. It's very nice to see you, Cabbage. We wouldn't leave you behind, Raspberry. Honest. We need your help finding Potato. Our combined trumpet detective skills say he's in the basement. Oh, yeah? Do you have the basement key? I do. Here you go. Fa Fantastic. I helped find it. Doubt that! <laughs> so you were trying to find Potato. Why would you want to find him? Because we're about to cook something. I take it you've met the red-haired woman. Of course, Cabbage made me. Be very cautious around her. If you're not careful, she'll bury you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any other puns. <laughs> if you're ever in a jam, though, just let me know. I got your back. No more recruit. No, what? No recruitment quiz. She seems very excited to come with you. You throw up in your mouth. <laughs> it's settled. I'm coming with you. Ooh. One more to go. The basement's already unlocked. Let's go find Potato. Seems fine. What could go? What could go wrong down here? Right? This seems great. It started raining outside. You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Holy what did that say? I heard something. I gotta turn it up. The sound of dripping water echoes up the staircase. Is this water from the floods? Don't be water down here. I don't like that. The walls have changed. Crusties? Is that what she said? It looks like a mixture of dirt and soot. 
Something is approaching. Uh, keep going. You grit your teeth and keep going. Yeah, be brave, guys. I want to see the end. The sound of the rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading, too. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You think you can hear something faintly. God! Thanks for that. Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. You ignore the distraction, but you've lost track of time down here. Your radio turns on. Monica, the strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like that. I have turned it up so loud. You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light. <laughs> that was the girl. That was Mariah. She's right in front of you. I mean, I would obviously run, as would you, but I feel like run means die here, so let's keep searching. Potato must be lurking down here. You're not, We're not even scared of her. You move your hands along the wall blindly. The smell down here is revolting. Your nostrils flare with each inhale. Your eyes can make out two directions to explore. The smell seems to be coming from the room on the left. You could still run. I'm going to go... Left is always right, so we're going to the room on the left. The stench is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. You can't see the eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. Feel along... I would feel along the wall for a light, don't you think? I would. You feel along the wall for a light. Your hand slides across something wet and sticky. You feel something round and hard. A potato. Hey, don't grab my head like that. <laughs> Why are you covered in blood? Gross. You feel the gentle push of a chompet. Let's get out of here. And we're ah! fine. And we're fine. Wow. <laughs> You found four of us. That's pretty darn close to five. We can't move on without Potato, though. After everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, we still need him here. Completely disagree. Raspberry's right. Let Potato sit in the basement. He's got company down there. That's enough. Your ranking is A. Hey! A as in awe-inspiring! Well done! To celebrate, we've made your bed. Sweet dreams! My bed's in the kitchen? Oh, she's mad! Why are you so mad, Karen? Karen, come here. Let's hug it out. Are you gonna cook dinner or not? You've been staring into space for a few minutes. Dinner? We're not picky. That's not true. I'll literally eat anything at this point. That's not true either. See, I think it was her. Wasn't it Mariah that we saw in the basement? What are you cooking tonight? You tell her. It's your specialty. Cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of the pantry. This meat is severely rancid. You could smell it before the drawer was even open. They're eating people, dude. Everyone's noses are sniffling. Are you sure? She barely has one. You gag as you put it down. What is this? It smells disgusting. Are you sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells familiar. Why would you serve that to us? Maybe it's aged to perfection? Yeah, he eats people. He gets it. You know, I'm not uh, into meat. You grab your knife. You sear the meat on both sides, trying to get the edges but fumbling a little. Next up is chopping the cabbage. We're going to chop cabbage. Oh, it sounds kind of violent just because we were hanging out with cabbage. Thanks for adding some vegetables. That's not helping much. Look at her face. What the freak, dude? This meat is starting to smell, but girl, hmm, I'm trying to smell some, some meat. The meat was done cooking. Mm -hmm. Everyone begins to salivate. Hurry up and finish the cabbage rolls. I can't wait anymore. You can see Karen's knife out of the corner of her dress. Wait, what? I didn't see it. Give it to me. Now, Karen gets ready to bury the knife into you. 
You wake in a cold sweat. Wake up, sleepyhead. Wait, we in there with Garen? But what's going on back here? Who is that? You were having a nightmare. Haven't seen someone thrash in their sleep like that. You must be pretty hungry after all that explore. One, one last treat? Don't worry. I won't tell the others. I found a dead mouse and one of the- Why are we eating the dead mice? I want you to have it. How's that for a big breakfast? You remember the old proverb, right? Appetite comes with eating. Don't worry. It gets easier after your first one. It's decaying a little, but it's still fresh enough to devour. You're gonna love it. <laughs> oh my god! What the frick? What the heck? <laughs> Dude, this one. This game. This one. Oh, that was so cheap and effective. So there's their Twitter. You could buy the appetizer edition with the extra content. They're on Kickstarter also. Link in description for that. Yeah, you got me. Thanks for that. You got me. Did you want a better ending? Well, I could just say yes. Hold on. Let me try to get another ending instead. I like your style. Yeah, no, don't just give me the better ending. What the freak? No, we'll do it in another video. Oh, we're back. Oh. Trying to redo some bad decisions, huh? Seeing if there's anything different. There probably is. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm just here for the hide and seek. You never know where someone might be hiding this time. You should still talk to the red-haired woman first. After that, you're on your own. Bye-bye. So it's different every time. I feel like we have to find more of that stuff. We need to find more of the hidden stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, here we are. Okay, so, okay, how do I get out of here? Welcome to our little house where we eat people just like you. We're gonna snap your bones. We're gonna eat your nose. All right, guys, well, there was cooking companions thanks very much for recommending me this game by the way because it's good it's my style for sure it's definitely inspired by doki doki obviously there's another ending here 6900 likes we'll do it it's up to you who knows what will happen oh probably you as well i don't anyways guys i love each and every one of you so very much thanks for watching my really stupid youtube video i actually appreciate it i mean that patreon supporters thank you for your support some of you have been supporting since we played doki doki that's crazy sound off in the comments if that's you all right guys i will see you in the next video maybe a cooking companions video maybe not it's up to you thanks for being here make sure you keep that chin up work hard and believe in yourself and as always have a bye five